I'm going to show you how I made these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cookies with the awesome face. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Here are the things that I used. A 2.5 inch round cookie cutter, a 1.5 inch heart cookie cutter. I used burgundy, pink, orange, red, royal blue, violet, and leaf green. All by Wilton. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, uh, to get started with this, uh, you will need your two cookie cutters and cut out your cutouts. And I just suggest using a very small heart. I had a larger one here but decided to go with the smaller one because I'm trying to not do this like an original uh, Ninja Turtle, more like an emoji style and have it look a little bit humorous. So I want this to be a little bit um, small, uh, not proportioned to the face. So um, what I did is I used the same round cookie cutter that I used for the face and trimmed off the pointy part of the heart and I just um, trashed that and then um, once I do that I attach it around two o'clock to my cookie and then I did another one at around 11 10 o'clock and um, I just suggest doing some on the right and some on the left that way you can do two colors on one side and two colors on the other side that way they're all not all not um, uniformed and have all the ties on one color I mean on one side even though they're different colors uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the oven and uh, we can get started after that all right guys to get started on this cookie I will do an outline this will help tremendously on doing all the detail I just wanted to show you really quick how these two cookies combined once they baked so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the tie and I'm gonna start really close to that uh, joint there and just make sort of like a leaf pattern like that. And then the other one, I'm gonna start off right there and then bring this one like that. And then at the top here, uh, I'm gonna be doing uh, two on this side and two on that side. So um, I'm, it's, you're just gonna do the opposite uh, the eyes are going to go towards this way, looking towards the tie. So on this one, they're going to be looking that way. And you'll see that in just a second. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw a line right here. And then once I come a little bit past the center point, I'm going to bring it down a little bit and then bring it back straight. And then around here, let's see. I, don't, I need to make this kind of thick because he has really big eyes. This is a, a cross between a emoji and, and a kuei type style. It is called uh, Awesome Face. If you've never heard of it, Google Awesome Face um, images and you'll get this little round. It's just plain round and it's yellow and it has these googly eyes like this really big eyes and a big mouth it's kind of it's kind of cute it's really cute actually and so I decided to do some of these in um, some characters so I, I decided to do it with the Ninja Turtle because that you know the turtles are kind of popular so um, I may do some with some other characters but I think these are just so adorable so that's why I decided to make these so they have um or the awesome face has these really big eyes, they're wide and they very big eyes, kind of like a big arch. And another one here. And then it has a um, pretty big mouth. Also wide and deep. And then the tongue is like that. And then like I said, they will be looking towards the side. Now his eyes um, are black. They're, uh, a black circle um, but you can do uh, whatever color that you like on there but I suggest sticking with black since it is um, black in the original um, awesome face so that's why I'm gonna um, do it in the black okay so the first thing I want to start with is the eyes and I'm gonna do a little bit of like wet on wet I'm gonna fill in the eye and then put in the black And these are both uh, in tips one. I think I'm using all four colors in a tip one because they're um, pretty small areas. Okay, and now I'm going to do the other side. Okay. 
Okay, and now I'm going to move on to the mouth. And this is in that um, wine color. But I just used a little bit and it kind of turned into like a raspberry sherbet color. Looks very yummy. Reminds me of uh, that sherbet ice cream. Okay. And as you notice, I didn't do the wet on wet on this one. I have a little bit of black in there. Um, I just found it a lot easier this way. But uh, you can do it the other way too, but um, I don't know. I just kind of thought it would be easier this way. Make sure they're even on both sides. All right, that is it. See how quick that was? So um, I do want to give this plenty of time to dry, especially if I'm going to go in with my darker colors. I definitely don't want that to get absorbed into my white. So um, I'm going to give it a little bit over an hour to dry. What I can do is I can um, start on these two here. Uh, I'll do one first, let it cross, and then do the other. That way I'll give it a separation. So I can do that now. Let's uh, do this one tie here, and I'm going to do this one first, and just give it just, you know, a couple minutes to grab a crust. And I'm going to put that aside and bring one that I've had for a couple minutes, and do the other side. And then I'm going to give it uh, another about four or five minutes for this one to crust. And then I can go ahead and do the, the mask. And then I'll give that mask about an hour to crust. So I can go ahead and do the green part at the top and at the bottom and we'll be done. So this one has had time to dry a little bit so I can go ahead and fill it in and I am using a tip one you can use a tip two to help it f uh, fill it out a lot quicker but uh, there's a bit of uh, some tight squeezes so I'm gonna use this one so I don't uh, put too much icing around this eye And this is why I did the eyes first. You can do the mask first if you like and then the eyes, but I find it just um, easier this way. Um, if you do the mask first, you run a risk of uh, the the icing sinking into the, the hole that you have left out for the eye. And you'll lose the shape. This way I just go over the eye. It's already in there. The icing has nowhere to go. So I won't lose that um, shape of the eye. And that's pretty much it. So it's coming along. Alright guys, so this is our time to dry. And now I'm going to, I have here a tip number three. And I'm going to just fill this in. And that will be it. I'm using a three just to help me fill it out faster. And I try to keep these um, nice and rounded because um, that's the point of this um, particular character. It's just very, very round. It's just a circle. And I'm going to finish up the rest because I have the other three colors and a few other ones I want to make. And I'm going to let them dry and then I'm going to put them all together because I am done. <laughs> you look so cute. Alright 
right guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i think these are so adorable they make them look like little uh, baby turtles or toddler turtles um, i may try to do another character uh, but again if uh, you don't know what the awesome face looks like you can google maybe i'll see if i can um stick a picture in at the end and um, you'll see that's um, it's smiling and it has little eyes to the side. I think these are so adorable. But anyways, guys, I hope you like these. Uh, give them a try. They're not hard to do. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And have a good one.